Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a Walmart fill-in haul. I have not been grocery shopping at Walmart since the pandemic began. I do have to go occasionally to get formula for Harrison, and every time I would go, the shelves were pretty empty. So I happened to go a few weeks ago to get Harrison some more formula, and I noticed that their shelves looked a lot more um, full and so I decided to do a grocery haul from there. So let me jump in uh, for you guys. I spent uh, $111. So I grabbed three cans of the of these family size cut green beans. Now normally when I make green beans I usually use two cans for me and Howard. So these were actually cheaper um, it was cheaper to get the family size than it was to get the single cans. So the single cans were uh, 50 cents each and they were um, like 14 ounces. And so this 28 ounce can of green beans was 94 cents. So I grabbed three of them. I'm almost com I was almost completely out of cream of mushroom soup. So I grabbed four cans of cream of mushroom soup. Now it was cheaper to get the individual cans of cream of mushroom soup because they did have a four pack, but it was more expensive to get the four pack than it was these. So grab four of those, grabbed a couple of boxes of pastaroni. I got chicken and then angel hair as well. I have a couple of recipes um, coming up that I'm gonna be making that call for some ham pieces. So I just grabbed this. Um, I haven't tried it before, but I like that it was slices and pieces, not just the ham steak. So it looked pretty good. It was $4.38. Um, I also grabbed some frozen chopped collard greens, two bags of seasoning blend. I grabbed a bag of seasoned potato wedges for Howard. Oh, I forgot to mention. The chopped collard greens and seasoning blends are for a recipe that I have coming up. And so are the shredded hash browns and the southern hash browns. The difference between the two is that the southern hash browns are cubed. Needed some more Bisquick. We also needed some more biscuits, so I grabbed the Mary Bees. I used to buy these all the time, then I switched to Pillsbury, so going back to Mary Bees. I did not know that Walmart sold these fine green beans. Normally I get my skinny little green beans from Aldi or from Trader Joe's, um, but Trader, I'm sorry, Aldi's, they have gone up on their prices of their um, fine green beans. I think there's are $1.75 last time I checked. Now they are a 16 ounce bag. The ones that I got from Walmart today, 12 ounces was $1.34. I also needed some mushrooms. I plan on making some green onion and mushroom fried rice. Harrison needed some formula, so I grabbed some for him. I needed some noodle soup for a recipe. I grabbed some of this secret sauce for Howard. He is the type of person that really likes a lot of sauces and things like that on his burgers, and I've heard from a lot of people that this is really good, so I grabbed this for him. A couple of um, pouches of brown gravy for my Mississippi pot roast, green onions for my fried rice and for anything else that I need it with. I kind of did miss or do miss the Aldi price on these green onions because it's a very small bunch and it was 50 cents. And at Aldi, it's a lot cheaper and you get more green onions. Um, I needed an onion for a recipe. Um, unfortunately, I think DiGiorno is doing away with me and Howard's, one of our favorite pizzas, which is their deep dish pizza. I haven't really been able to find it um, in a lot of stores. The last place I found it, they were clearancing it out. So I thought this might be a replacement. I haven't heard of this before. It's Motor City Pizza Company, pepperoni deep dish style, and it comes with its own pan that you bake it in. So we're gonna give that a try. Um, I needed, I'm almost out of my Fritos dips. And so um, I have not tried the Great Value dippers. Um, these are supposed to be comparable to the scoops. I said Fritos dips, I meant Fritos scoops. 
Um, so I haven't tried these before, but they were considerably cheaper than the scoops. These were 77 cents, which is almost three times less than what the Frito scoops are. So decided to give these a try. I needed some butterscotch for baking and also some pecans for baking. I just got this small bag because I do plan on going to Sam's and I'll get a larger bag of pecans, but I just needed some right now. Also, I love chai tea latte and I am almost done using the um, one that I picked up from Trader Joe's, which is really good. Um, so I wanted to give this Oregon chai a chance or a, a try and um, it's a very small container 10 ounces and it was almost four dollars and I feel like it used to be a lot cheaper and bigger than this but anyway gonna give that a try we needed some hamburger buns for recipes and I have not tried great value knockoff version of the gain um, so I wanted to give it a try. I think it was like $1.24 or something like that. I don't remember. And then I saw this apron and I could not resist it. It's a pantry apron and it says, Baker's gonna bake. And I thought it was so cute because it has all of this baking stuff all over it. And um, I love baking and I always love a good apron. So I grabbed this, it was $7.88. You can see all the baking stuff all over it. Let me turn it around a little bit. It's got a measuring cup, cupcakes, a whisk. It's so cute. I couldn't resist it. Then we also needed some foil paper. And then I just picked up this pair of pants for Harrison because he, I don't think he really has any pants to wear. So um, I just grabbed him a little pair of pants. So anyway, this is it. This is all that I picked up from my Walmart haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.